magic pet Morphle can morph into anything I want. How about a little bedtime story before you go to sleep? Yay, story time! Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. Shouldn't it be Little Blue Riding Hood? Uh, okay, sure, yeah. So Little Blue Riding Hood was walking through the forest to bring a basket of food to her sick grandmother. All alone? That's no fun. Uh, okay, she brought a friend. As they walked through the forest... Walking, Morphle morphed into a monster truck. That's way faster. What? No, wait, there is a wolf. Where are you going, little girl? Sorry, Mr. Wolf, we're in a hurry. Uh... Grandma! Oh, right, they arrive at Grandma's cottage. That's it? Grandma should live in a big sky. Skyscraper. And there's a giant dragon to protect her. Wow! Okay, but the wolf is also there, and he gets hit by a UFO. Are you okay, Mr. Alien? Well, I am, but my ship is all broken. Now I can't get home anymore. We can take you there. Morphle, morph into a spaceship. Fine, they go to space and take the alien home. There's my home! But the wolf is right behind them. Is he riding a space shark? Uh, sure, but he is getting closer. Thank you so much for taking me home. No problem. Uh, and then they were back at Grandma's place. Ah, Grandma! Let's bring her the basket. Yes, finally. So, they bring Grandma her basket of food. Hey, you are not Grandma. Wolf! No, but you can't tell. The wolf has a disguise. Really, it's me, Grandma. No, your mouth is way too big. Okay, you got me. I am a wolf, and I'm going to eat you. But in a forest nearby, a strong and brave woodcutter heard the wolf. That sounds like a wolf. Don't worry, everyone. I'll handle this. <sighs> Stop it, you big bad wolf. Oh, no. It's the brave woodcutter. <laughs> Looks like I saved the day. <laughs> hmm, what's this? Aha! Uh -huh. I believe this is yours. Oh, thank you, handsome young man. But have you seen my granddaughter? Oh, eh, uh, Mila? Mila! Now that was a good story.